Hi, this is Steve Holtwitz with Red Seal, and this is the fifth of the eight-part video series certifying your network with Red Seal. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can see the details of those access paths through your network. You may remember that we queried to see what access was available from the internet into the network in the model. And we clicked on one of these access lines to determine precisely what access was there. In this case, access to port 22 on a particular host. The obvious next question is, how is this access possible? By using the Red Seal Detailed Path tool, you'll see that this query for port 22 only is fully open from the internet to that particular IP address. You'll see in the lower section that one device has controls that deal with this particular path. And on the right-hand side, you see what those controls are. Two filter rules, including an implicit deny, and a NAT rule. By right-clicking on either one of these lines and saying, show in config file, we jump directly to the line in the configuration file that allows this access. This gives us the opportunity to communicate to network operations or any other group what changes we want, specifically in the context of the overall configuration file. It is sometimes the case that you want to see closed access and understand what is closing it, what's keeping it from occurring. In this case, what I'm going to do is place the internet in the source and I'm going to choose one of these subnets that we saw earlier did not have access and I'm going to place that as the destination. The Explorer shows the source and destination and this particular query and if I ask Red Seal to show us access you'll see that there isn't any. So the next obvious question is, okay, can we see what's blocking it? One thing we might want to know is how is access blocked? By choosing one of these subnets that's on the internet and setting it as the source of a query, and one of these subnets that we know is blocked and setting that as the destination of a query, and then running the access query, we see that there isn't any access allowed. Now, you might want to know why. What is it that's blocking it? By using the Security Intelligence Center tool and the detailed path, what we'll see is this is a fully closed path and specifically because of this particular firewall. You see here that there's a filter rule from untrust to trust that only allows for particular access, in this case port 22 to that host we just looked at. No other access is allowed. So if you want to ask this access to be opened, you can communicate again that it needs to be done in this firewall and you can communicate specifically what changes they need to make within the configuration. This has been Steve Holquist for Red Seal in the fifth of our eight-part series on certifying your network with Red Seal. In this case, taking a look at access path details and being able to visualize how the access is allowed through the network. Thank you for joining me.